Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, what if I told you guys there was one setting you could change that would immediately boost your aim and also even improve your building consistency? It sounds like it's not true, but it actually is. Huge credit to Gronky who originally demonstrated this as a concept. Before you get into the actual setting, uh, basically this setting affects your FPS even on console. I know a lot of you console guys, you don't have the ability to turn off shadows. You know, you don't really have the ability to turn off effects. And, and boost your FPS in that way, but there is one way where you can gain as much of an advantage as you can in this game. Now you gotta know that FPS actually has a huge effect on your ability to hit your shots in this game. It also directly affects your aim assist. So if you're playing on 144 FPS, you got really fluid movement, you know, and it allows you to like really maximize on a few different aim assist concepts, such as your aim assist slowdown, which really makes your target stick as you scroll over an enemy. So like as you can see here, I'm putting the exact same input on my joystick and it is just sticking to the other to the enemy, right? That's aim assist slowdown. You also get a greater boost to aim assist auto rotation. We've talked about this a lot before where you can L2 spam and the aim assist auto rotates you onto the target much much harder. But if I switch to 30 FPS, I know this is drastic, but if you're playing on console, you can see huge FPS drops all the way down to 30 FPS, right? So if say we're playing at 30 FPS, if I'm trying to get the, sl the slowdown trick, look at that, dude. There's like no aim assist slowdown. There we go, we have a little bit there. But in comparison to what I was getting at 144 FPS, it's nowhere near even similar. So if you're playing on console and you're getting huge frame drops, say there's a lot of people dropping in one area, say there's a you're in an end game and there's a huge build fight and there's a bunch of structures, um, that's really going to slow down your FPS and it's going to directly affect your aim assist. You're not going to really get as much aim assist auto rotation either. You're going to have to spam it a lot harder to get your aim to kind of rotate onto players, and it's overall going to be slower, less responsive. Not to mention that you know aiming on lower FPS just doesn't feel near as good and it won't be as smooth for you. So basically what Gronky discovered and I'll link his channel in the description, you guys should definitely subscribe to him. He drops really good console gaming tips and supporter creator code is Gronky12. Again, I'll drop all that information down below. But basically he discovered that if you go into your settings and you scroll all the way down in this tab, all the way down to record replays, record large team replays and re record creative mode replays, you need to turn all of these off, especially if you're on console. I play on a really powerful PC. It doesn't really affect me that much, but if you're playing on console, basically, it says it right here itself. Recording replays can reduce performance and take up hard drive space. When you're playing on a $400 or $300 console, you need every ounce of performance you can get dedicated to the game to push out the highest frames per second, the highest performance that you possibly can. Because like I said, these things will directly affect your building and directly affect your aim. Gronky actually directly tested this in creative. He dropped onto an island that was loaded up with ships and he dropped in with creative mode replays on and he was only averaging somewhere between 20 and 30 FPS. He did the exact same thing, dropping on the exact same island with creative mode replays turned off and he was averaging between 40 and 50 FPS. So it definitely can make a huge difference. Again, you're in that range where your aim assist is gonna be greatly affected by the FPS dip. This is a bad idea. Woo! What a what a a th toss, dude. Nice bop. I'm all about it, dude. <laughs> GG man GG well played bro I 
I'm right behind you. Okay, so I, I, is this looted? Oh my god. What are you doing? I really don't like running redeploy that much anymore, dude. I feel like it, it automatically pops when I do not want it to automatically pop. And it screws me up, like, way more than it helps me now. I need to get some, um... I need to get some shield. I need to get some mats. We're running a little low on both. Every time I go for a, a cone jump, it pulls out? Yeah, 100%, dude. Same thing for me. It's so annoying, dude. It just ruins you in build fights. If the other player's good, too, they just hear that. And they just start absolutely dumpstering you, man. Again, we don't have too much mat-wise, but we gotta get into it, man. We gotta get involved. I feel like 600 mats in today's game is just, it's nothing. It's nothing. You can burn that so quick. I'm screwed! Blowing a lot of mats here for no real reason. Later, bud! Man, boxing up is too strong, bro. It's too strong. Like, that's so easy for me to do right there to that guy. And he's putting great pressure on me. He had some great shots earlier in the fight. And because I just can box up like that, and, like, there's no repercussions for that, I can wait for the perfect opportunity to peek again. And that's the trickiest thing in this game right now, man. Boxing up is so good. It's so good. Like, you can't get mad at players for doing it because, like, dude, it's so much, it's so good of a strategy, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like doing what I just did to that guy shouldn't be so easy to do. Maybe that's just my opinion, man. That boy had mats. He did, dude. He was stacked up. Yes, things do work really well for that. That's a good point, dude. I mean, like, that's why I carry a heavy snipe, right? So I can just jump into people's boxes. The drum gun doesn't really do the trick. If somebody has, like, 30 ping or lower, which is what I got right now, you just, you can't get into somebody's box without that. Willing to bet he's lit. Bro, what are you doing? Build! <laughs> Build, you fool! Okay, let's push back. I I definitely like shadow bombs for, for movement over, um, over redeploys, man. 100%. It's not even a debate. <laughs> imagine, dude. Just imagine. As always, dude, incredible support. Man, I wish I could take walls. Yankee doodle. Well, good thing nobody's around to bot me. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing, man? Come on, bro. Get a grip. Mm. 
My man, Chicken Head. Going in right now with the boxing up. Everybody out here scrimming. Everybody seeing that slot opening on the, the FaZe Clan roster right now. With Tifu leaving the team. What are they all going to do, man? Everybody's out here trying to sweat it. Trying to go for that FaZe RC, baby. Trying to get themselves involved in one of the biggest gaming clans. You know? Can't blame that hustle. Cannot blame the hustle. You know? That was a little bit of a dirty flick, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed that. I'm a little bit wet. Ooga. I tell you, man, there's so many people late game. It's crazy. Like, where are they at? <laughs> where are they at, dude? I don't understand. Four dudes. Like, I'm just reloading an open. Nobody's... Nobody cares. Oh! <laughs> My dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, Colby? Oh my god. Hey, GG, bro! <laughs> what is this game? What is this game?